Thanks for messing around in Vampire Survivors Beswick 293. We got Genevieve eating the world with Moonlight Bolero, Melo Suits Moonspell, Yevet Only, and Marudo Cuts in the Bone Zone. Chew on all them bones. Devour that delicious marrow. In the background, I will be still listening to and reacting to Matara Khan of V Shoujo playing Space Marine 2. She's just at the end of the first planet section, protecting the antennas from the Tyranid swarms. Find them, find them, and destroy them, Matar. Uh oh, she's a panicking. It should be after the patch, where the AI of the teammates shooting the gorgoyles, the turn flyers, are more durable, less durable. And I have yet to switch out Spellbinder or Clover for Spellbinder still. Choo 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 through them all. Kind of funny when you have two DLCs combining like this. It just feels so weird, right? Like they're completely out of source with each other. I mean, that goes for base game and DLC too, but for the DLC, it feels especially so true. All right, I can grab those, and of course, C2 gets one. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? Anyway, this should not be particularly difficult. Even with Gavadoni being here, being bad. Oh no, it's too far down. I'll have to... I'd have to get Mad Groove to pick it up. Crud. Get armor. Oh, that's the other one. Oh, it's because I was going for the first one. And then the second one spawned in. Well, every weapon I can get is better. No, this might actually be a poor... Now the patch, the patch was definitely after the 20s, before the 27th, right? Oh, the AI. That's odd. They felt really good. I guess that's just the difference with the veteran. They are just not as effective. Patch or no patch. Oh, chicken spam. No, oh, there's a... No, oh, I think they cleared it. No, oh, I think she won. Oops. Hey, too bad I can't grab it. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ah, looks like she is about to fall. I corrected one of them at the very end, but the other one is too troublesome. Oh man, dang shooters. At least I can protect myself with the insatiable hunger or whatever it is. Alright, she's restarting. Too bad, too sad. It didn't even disconnect. It just felt like popping. Still active. It's still active. Still doing stuff. None of their batteries should be remotely low. Like it was just the session last night. It should last about well longer than this. Oh. Huh. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever had someone go down before the hearts. Arrived. Will they all go back to Suyuto? Nope. Or er, I guess whoever else it could have been. No, uh, no terrain to chew here. Bone zone's completely flat. Just delicious, delicious bone marrow to eat. And the tougher shooters are here. And they're so durable. That's Saint Water. Uh, if I get an Armadillo, if I get a candy box, I'll Armadillo uh, an Attractor bin. So I get Labora. Whose card is that? Huh. I was expecting them to do better since it's Megalo, Siuto, and Maruto, but. Well, Genevieve is just gonna have to Genevieve out. I wonder 
I mean, in theory, the number of Tyranids on top of one of the protect objectives should indicate how it gets damaged. On the other hand, it'd be kind of annoying or something otherwise. Arcana! Arcana Goblin, come back here. Let me destroy you. Let me chew on your flesh. You'd probably love. Well, that's familiar. At least the spell string is blasting that goblin occasionally. Boy, this is annoyingly durable. Genevieve having... Okay, 19 curse. That explains some things. And I will trigger World Eater if I do get low on health, which seems increasingly feasible. Oh, well, there's Stalker to be annoying. Oh, Bone Zone, you are always far more difficult than you should be. Yeah, go figure. What? Did I eat a Stalker too? And Drowner? Oh, right, I'm not getting a Finian. The heck was that? I can't get any evolutions on Genevieve. That nonsense with getting the spell strike there. Or spell scream, whichever one is right. Well, regardless, I got Silent Old Sanctuary. She's still struggling on the end section. With Harakhan's victory. Pick him up. Burn him down. Burn! Burn, 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 burn. Mad Groove to get another weapon in. I think that's actually Mad Groove in time. That'll be better than some other options I have. Okay, empty tome. A uh, free amount. Five amount. Oh. So, I don't know. What is what? I don't have the damage to fight the Atlantans just yet. Another vacuum? Must have been a pickup from a random event. Because there shouldn't be any vacuum spawning in otherwise. Oh man, they're just way strangely durable. <laughs> no wait, it's not the final mission of the first plant, it's the final mission of the first section. Or, of the first level. Final section of the first level she's playing. First real level. First real mission. First real... Quest. Oh hey, a chest. Getting pushed against the back end. Oh, I still haven't checked that nonsense that was happening. Trying to get Flare and Nui quest set up correctly was... Really difficult because it did not want to be tracked correctly in OBS. Okay, OBS is recording correctly. Boy, do I still have to worry about that too much. That'll get me the hollow heart. Thank you, black chess and a you random into duplicator, really? I mean, the black chest means I could just technically grab every passive, but I need to guarantee empty tome or a knee near guarantee it anyway. Yeah, armor, 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 armor. Row, row, row your boat. Yeah, lay down the stream. 
Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. A vampire survivor's Beswick. Woo. Alright, she's won. She has successfully defended the relay, and the Tyranid fleet is about to be blasted with giant cannons. But they will still take the planet. And our new operation coming in this month for Space Marine 2 will be destroying the capillary towers as they send biomass to the fleet up above and, you know, stopping them from expanding the fleet. And yet, still not as ridiculous as what the old guardsman party or guy who cried Randall pull off because, oh boy. I really suggest anyone who wants to read a nice, long, good story, go look up Guy Who Cried Grendel or All Guardsmen Party just to see some serious nonsense at play. Elian, no! You were the greatest of us all. Sorry. Alright, it's nah. I need to hold up. I don't remember Reach. So many people were actually talking bad about Reach on release. Now, retrospective, oh yeah, it was the greatest, I always defend it. Nonsense. I still remember the very first page of the forum thread talking about how everyone was so stupid and dumb. The same people were praising it later. And it was stupid and dumb. So much of Reach is stupid and dumb. Like, seriously, why the hell is the Autumn back on Reach? Why? Ugh, just makes no sense. None of it makes no sense. Yeah. She's talking about... Oh. He's on the battle bar, just stomping around. Talking about... Babies when they're probably older than she is. Uh, just calling them all nice little babies. <laughs> because none of them have their service studs for 50 years. This is old, 200. Heck, I think even Tarkus from Dawn of War was only a couple hundred. Alright, let's grab the rest of this stuff. You know, the Eve is ready to be very, very big and evil. Stompy, stomp, stomp. Eating with Acheron. There he goes. Yeah, it came up in the stream, well, yesterday. From when I'm posting this. But there's like five named uh, Tech Priest Mechanicus characters. There's only like one, two, three, four named Guardsmen. Kind of weird. And one of them's a traitor, and the two of them aren't act the other two aren't actually well named. Or given a name on their subtitles. The only one that is is Major Siskara. Captain Iden is not, and neither is Sergeant Byron. Alright, this is where the first operation is taking place, at the same time along with the second remission. Burn Inferno. Uh, settle. You know, she's talking about how they're younger and stuff, but... You know, it does reflect in their actions, is that they're 
all gung ho about fighting and killing, not doing the mission. Even Gladriel, who is a Sarge. You know, now that I'm getting my temperature taken somewhat regularly, I'm, and it's so basically on the verge of constantly being feverish. I'm wondering if the reason why I, that I run so hot is the issue with why I don't get sick very often, or basically never, because I'm just constantly so hot on the inside. What is this music? Oh, she's doing something. What is that 2000 hit? What is that? Oh, it's the wire, right? No. Something's hitting for 2K. What can even hit for 2K here? Maybe Legionnaire? The Legionnaire smash? I th think that's the only thing I can think of. Nothing else seems to make sense, but it's getting hit by the 2000s up there. Is it Shadow Servant? The hell? When does Shadow Servant do damage? Is it increased by a stat I don't know about? What? Ah, uh, I mean, I guess it could have high damage, but who cares about Shadow Servant when Athenian exists? Ophian exists. Consume. Annihilate with spell strings. Destroy all these skelly tans. Okay, she's going on break for the end of this section and... Oh. The doll? Do you mean Vidal? I mean, I guess it could be another one named the doll. Oh, world eaten. The fast, fast reaper. Quitting time. I think I broke the 100k, huh? Wow. 10 million on the Santa water, but Shadow Servant was hitting. Maybe it was the spell stream that was hitting. Yeah, I think it was the spell stream that was bumping up. Satiable, did nothing. Oh, maybe Spell Strike was doing it. Hmm. Hard to think which one was doing all that big damage. Now for some fun, down in space is Genevieve. Genevieve, Keitha, and Rotten Ghoul head into Space 54 to consume everything. I guess with how fast that goblin went down, they also are HP times level, huh? Uh, anyway, there's very little to actually do here, so... Oh, I have double Shadow Servant, huh? And Flash Arrow, which will do very little. I actually need to eat out the terrain here, just so I can get access to these gems in the middle real quick. There we go. Oh, I can actually eat... Ah. Oh. So these are terrain. Even if you could walk across them. They're special terrain. That explains why they leave like that. They have a different paradigm than some others. Duh. Ah, so, well, Genevieve just discovered the secret of Space 54. Uh, anyway, Matara's on, well, a little break, but since this is about, I'll just skip over it. Oh, sweet, it was even chaptered. Wow, that's a pretty long break. What?
Okay, this has gotten confusing. Is she talking about someone else? <laughs> I mean, this is obviously a joke conversation, but man. Man, it's weird to come back to, to just to skip after. Heavenly Polycule. Good grief. I mean, I guess the... I mean, she's talking about how the screen... The start screen looks like Fallout. Probably should be 4, right? I guess uh, Space Marine 2 is just much better. Okay, it's someone in chat who wants to go out with Heavenly Father, who is... currently in a relationship? Yes, that's the correct way to turn it. Oh man, that eyeball is eating us. Stuff good. Oh, and they need himself to Heavenly Mother. That's it. Wait, no. Man, this is so confusing to try and follow when you don't have the shit on sc Well... Solus means solus, you don't have a soul? That seems pretty simple. Uh, I mean, hand holding someone across the road. Little old ladies. There we go. And they, they didn't grab all this time. Now I'll actually get my dang spell storm. Hmm. No mad grove here wouldn't have been a bad idea. I could go grab all them empty tomes immediately. And phaser. Oh yes, VTubers and dating, that's sure a winning combination. Oh, there's my groove. Stream our max or Woo! Woo, that includes me. <laughs> Isn't that the horrific consequence of someone trying to date? Goody. Empty tome immediately. And you have the uh, candle opera door. Alright, the mad group, the golden fingers don't get pulled over. Now it's the backup squad. She actually restarted the game in order to do this. Three more data in sight. Woo. That's an awful idea. Yummy, 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 in the world, yummy. Can I eat Marchant? Ah, actually, it's a background to eat, so I can actually move. And get bigger with Genevieve. There we go. And a Kennedy badge. I have a million passives. Ooh, more chestin'. God, this is the most bizarre conversation she's going on yet. Involving... <laughs> finding her husband with her manager and director. Oh, good God. Oh. What's that even supposed to mean? Eesh, at least with myself, I know I have nothing to offer. Man, at least be successful. That should be pretty simple. Oh man, she stated Twitch personalities. That's a horrible fate. Well, I'm not happy if you broke up. 
and not physically. Tut tut. Emotionally, spiritually, mentally, but not physically. Tut tut. Oh, murder. Neat. No Mechanicus ever fights. Kind of funny because the, <laughs> the Mechanicus dudes in All Guardsmen Party are constantly in combat. Sometimes they even fight. Yay. Oh, hey, merchant. Ah, right away. Gotta make sure I hit A on the controller so they don't drop between the stages again. That's so annoying when that happens. Melt the rifle, melt the rifle, get the melt the rifle, Matarakan. Get it, and crush everything. Plasma pistol certainly falls off in operations. On the higher difficulties when it can't knock them and execute as fastly. But. Where is this 800 damage coming from? Uh, Thunderloop? No, that's like 170. Is it Shadow Serpent again? Uh, well, I do have other things. That could be. We're in space! Okay, uh... I have Clover for Heaven's Sword. Uh, I need Max Bracer Skull. Max Pomerola. Huh. Londoner? Wait, how do you call yourself a wonder if you don't know about the knife fighting rings around every corner at night? I'll go with the chaplain before she heads out for the next mission. <laughs> she called the chaplain cool. I mean, he looks cool. He himself is a total jerk. I don't... Drink hot water. Drink water or wa room temperature. Don't drink cold or hot. Makes your body work harder. And it's actually worse for you health-wise. This was recorded on the 27th that I'm reacting to. So, bit. Almost a week ago now at this point. Brickums. Oh, she's getting the operations tutorial. Alright, just two more minutes to go. Man, this conversation, I have not watched much in the way of these shoujo so I don't know what's going on. That means I really should be watching someone else. It's at least I talked about Ho. You know, I don't think I actually talked about Matara playing at all when I actually streamed Space Marine 2 yesterday. Huh. Oh yeah, meds take a while. You need to digest it. 9.30 is absolutely too late for a coffee if you're trying to sleep soon. Eight hours before caffeine and sleep. That'll get it out of your system. Hmm. Oh my gosh, he's dropping so many meds. Picking up our downers. Boy, that's not, not a good sign for your health. Three hours? No, it's eight hours. No caffeine. It's eight hours. 
Like three hours is for normal digestions of foods and waters. Eight hours is for things that are harder to break down, like caffeine. I mean, I can still do it because I'm a weirdo, but... You don't drink decaf to think you're getting real coffee. Even I know that's a bad idea. I just think invincible from all the pickups. Yeah, I think all the pickups have made Genevieve bigger, eviler version, non purpler version, redder version. That's sort of unkillable at the moment. Well, can killable the boxes. Death, on the other hand, claims us all in the end. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. And another one bows. Another one bows. Another one bites the dust. All right, time for some fast food on Carla Kart with Genevieve. Megalo Sayuta Moonspell, Murdo Cuts, and Luminaire Foscari. And I'm listening in the background to Matara Khan still playing some Seuss Moon 2. She's starting... What? No, that's the Space Wolves. Uh, I can eat the carts. I can eat the rails. Okay, she's talking about Space Marine 2. Wow. Okay, it loops immediately. Wow, it's really small, actually. Oh. Huh. Interesting. I eat the top. No. Anyway, I'm watching Matara, listening to Matara Khan play Space Marine 2, the first of the VODs. Huh. Okay, so I can't eat the top, I think. Uh, it's hard to tell. Okay, I can eat some of it. Oh, I can eat it. I can get through it. Okay, there's a thumbnail if I can get up. What she's talking about about the Space Marine Legions. Okay, I can kind of get up. Last rifle. Long last. Uh -huh. Adians have purple eyes because they were right next to the Eye of Terror, where the warp used to spring into reality from. And then Cadia blew up. And the Eye of Terror got even bigger. And better. But even more unstable. And then Gula Man woke up. And then Lionel Johnson of the first one woke up. Hey. I remember... I only remember the number, the exact numbers of four legions. Heck, not even that. The uh, Dark Angels are one, and the Alpha Legion are the 20th. Uh, anything else, I have no idea. The second and the 11th were the ones that were banished from records. Anyway, we're going... Oh, did I, yeah, I introduced the characters. Huh. I wonder why it's so distinct from actual Genevieve here. Hmm. Must be a way of due to how the characters work on this stage. Good grief, you got spell string? Oh, it must have spawned and then you picked it up. Jeez. Unless it's down here and I didn't see it. Oh, that's Academy Badge. Can I hit the bottom rail? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Looks like that's set. Well, oh, let's just sit here and go fast. Okay, no, he naturally got spell string. Oh, her space marine logging. When he. Ah, oh, this is so funny to listen to. Oh, the, oh great, it's real stalker. Go figure. At least I can kind of outrun him. Or outcard him. Go fast, go faster.
Yep, there's the carton stalker. <laughs> okay, so that's what's with all the timeouts. Okay, so people buy gifted subs in our channel, they can time people out. That's what's going on. Alright, re-roll, silent old sanctuary. And for anyone who didn't catch it earlier, she's got on her channel. On her channel, there's a whole list of people that have been timed out from her channel. Alright, so... The track things, uh, the go-fast pads, are completely irrelevant to where they are on the cart. Go faster! Go faster! Choo-choo-choo, yeah, choo, eyeball. Woo! I lapped! Oh, good thing this was us. What the heck? So character 4 got that, but it, character 2 had to hit it? That was weird. Oh, only two more minutes to go. Oh, hey, mini shift shifter. And she's breaking a lot at the end here. Well, she is sick. I mean, this doesn't matter, so Slash is fine, even if it offers literally nothing. No, Slash is terrible, because it offers literally nothing. Uh. Oh. Never ask a VTuber about family, it's only going to be an awful. Yeah, she's finally moving through the jungle. She was just sitting still, doing talk. Okay, so I can chew up the bottom section, too. Go fast, go fast, win faster. Tunnel snakes rule. Who are the tunnel snakes? And that's right, we rule, 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 rule. Tunnel snakes rule. That's right, we're the tunnel snakes, and we rule. Guess Wicked Season is fine for the last 30 seconds of this. Hey, it's Legion there. Chewing him up. A lot of diver mind. Oh, hey, they follow around the uh, nonsense on the edge and explode because of it. They got in the little gaps and then can't get out of it correctly. Oh, huh, I didn't see you to go down. Oh, it's over. And another Arcana showed up too, huh? 1.3, half a mil, 1.5, nothing. All right, and this time around, it's Moonlight Bolero, and who could have seen that coming? On the laboratory with Genevieve, Genevieve, Ron Ghoul, and the first of the emergency meeting with Among Us Dino. Roommate Dino, Red. So, he'll eventually become super strong if we can keep him alive to level up. Does he get his bonuses if he's down when something maxes out? All right, I need to eat up some of the terrain here. Uh, not much to eat, but... I can. Alright, uh, Matara Khan is progressing through yet another swampy jungle in Space Marine 2. This is still her first bud. Uh, 
Uh, she should be running into the Cadians soon. Gusto. Melt all the big boys. Okay, I can eat it, but strangely enough, it's still there. Just got a different color palette. Weird. I guess you're just looking off the dirt, eh, Genevieve? Hey. Alright, can I do... Might have to be able to eat down there. Still, that uh, will let me go through. Uh, I think this is the area I'd want to consume. I think the next one is at 2,000, maybe. Let's eat. Let's eat. 2021. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, that looks interesting. Don't be less afraid. Be measured. Oh, she's in the barb strangler hell. On spore mines, too. Can't be aggressive through spore mines. You can try attacking them. Not gonna do much. Is it 30 for the third one? Ah. Uh, there's not much more to eat. Actually, I could check to see what's going on over here. Uh, is it going to be 4,000? 4,500? It's hard to tell when it's going to be. Try not to swear. Thankfully, I have avoided swearing rather significantly on my own end. This is a family-friendly Vampire Survivors video. Now watch as I slaughter thousands of enemies. You can copy swearing. You can't cap her. This level of volume. Silence. Money. Uh-oh, she's timing out Giga. Hey, it's my sign all time, Her chat is very mean. Timing out Giga, heavenly. Come on, come on. Eat, 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 eat. Oh, well, I guess with the others down. There we go. Okay, so this... is all on top of the grating here. Huh. Always good to see. Now that I think about it, I could've used... Man, it's so hard... to get... the... Images. That's why it's so weird for the Emergency Among Us ones. They're all just sort of wonky. Because of things like how... Where's my Sapphire Mist? There it is. There it is. Huh, I wonder if this will cause it to be double eat. I'm dead, too. Well, then he's not dead if we're feeding him. Well, they're really menial psychers, so... It's really fine to eat them. In Imperium logic, anyway. Oh, drink before eating. Yummy, yummy. Yep, this is once more really, really close to the post. I'm... Boy, howdy. A good video creator would edit these kinds of things out, or not do them. Because this is live stream in action. But also, it's my channel of very little feedback on anything. Hey, a train. Can I eat the train? Oh. I want to try to eat the train. That means I would actually need to replay the train. Uh, that would actually make a really good short one. Slanesh. 
Right. But also, Slanesh is opposed to... Oh, Isha? Isha. She said ass, okay. Isha is a... Uh, she said... Nurgle has a girlfriend that started with the letter S. <laughs> and I went straight to Slanesh, but Slanesh is opposed to Korn, not Nurgle. And blah blah blah, but... Isha, yeah, that's the... Elder Goddess who was captured by Nurgle, the Goddess of Healing, Mercy, and Doctorate and stuff. Uh... Let's see. Oh, well, let's talk about Elder Gods, because what else am I going to talk about? Vampire Survivors? Piff. Clearly we should have Space Marine collab with Vampire Survivors. Woo. Oh, I think she's at the Guardsman part. Oh, they're all dead, aren't they? Horribly, horribly dead. That Ravener. It just gets you. Oh. Wait, it's AD80 and... Oh my god, that's so much easier than slamming the joystick. Holy crap, you see, you get a huge buff off that. Heck, you could just technically create a... S oh, that's the awesome... Seeing the auspic scan from Charon for the first time. Alright, so Elder Gods. The most important one really is Cain, their god of war and violence. He was responsible for a lot of awful crap. Uh, he's one of the Elder Gods that wasn't destroyed instantly when the Elder got so hedonistic they spawned Slanesh into being. Boy howdy, was that terrible. Uh, he went to go fight Slanesh, and then... Korn was like, oh no, he's mine, and then broke Kane into little itty pissies, which the Elder somehow covered. The ones who weren't hedonistic pricks. Who then basically invoke a ritual to summon Cain into the real world as the avatar of Cain by sacrificing someone. Let's see. Uh, oh, oh, God. Asia, the goddess of mercy, healing, and all that stuff. Uh, Vol, the Elder Blacksmith God, he's super dead. Azurian, the Phoenix King, Ias, the Elder Gods, he's super dead too. Uh, there's... I don't know what his name is, but there's the Elder Trickster God. And he's alive, he got out just fine. Just go mess with dudes. Uh, he and each are the only ones officially alive. And Kane is semi-alive, as, as well as... Their death god, who was part of the setting change, uh, setting upgrade with Ghoul Man coming back. That's a lot of rapport. Why is doing that thousand damage hit? Jeez. Oh, she didn't save any of the Cadians at that point. Which leaves Scarlet Flame Heart the only one I've seen actually save anyone there. I didn't even manage that. Oh, she's getting ready for some Lictor. Hey, it's emergency. Meeting. I'm Raveners. Bye bye. Guardian Rail Clock Plates automatically. She's asking about that. Choo 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 everything.
to... Oh, I got some of the terrain here. Oh, huh, that one's just a block line. Alright, uh, Elder God stuff. Uh, there's also the Elder God of Death that the God Elder were trying to empower to try and, you know, change the setting in their favor. That's, a. Uh, they kinda got it alive. It's there. Er... But it's not as powerful as they were hoping for. And then the Elder are kinda semi-allied with the Imperium at the moment. They were willing to make deals of convenience and backstab when necessary. But things have gotten bad enough with the fact that the galaxy's been split in two with the warp. And, uh, you know, more tiered nonsense. Oh boy. Well, at the very least, emergency meeting slams them real good. When it's not destroying candlesticks, good god, really. Why does it feel like Dino has already done this one and I just forgot to put it? A lot of levels. A big old gen of even. Even she. Hi, Death. Hi, Death. Yeah, she got the same issues I had with some of the controls. I hit them correctly, but the game doesn't want to control them. There were the stats. They were incredible. And it's time to chew on some bats with Genevieve. Muruto cuts who's at the end because I got his placement wrong, but it doesn't matter. He's still here. Luminaire Foscari and Keith Amort. Mmm, cheesy. Luminary. Cutting. Alright, uh, I'm listening to Matara Khan fight the Lictor Alpha boss fight in Space Marine 2. Well, Lictor Alpha doesn't really exist. It's sort of a Dawn of War 2 holdover, but this one's a boss fight while well, the rest of the Lictors are not, so I'm calling it the Alpha because it's very simple to do that. It's not like there's Raven or Alpha either. It's just a helpful way to determine it. The three heroes that the Tyrannid faction in Dawn of War 2 Retribution has are the Hive Tyrant, which is a boss in Space Marine 2 that you fight against, the Lictor Alpha, and the Ravener Alpha. The stealthy guy and the Burrowy guy. When a faction doesn't have much in the way of personality, you gotta do what you can. Hmm, that's why I was able to recognize Gaunts and Gants and all that on site. As I knew. Them from Dawn of War and stuff. Yeah, man, she's still fighting it. Yep, it's a brutal one. Go, Matara, beat it. Ah, she went down. But she does have teammates to pick her up. And they will do it in no trouble. Spell stringing. And I don't have to worry about them stealing my other stuff. Hmm. I can eat the background here, can't I? No. I would have done it already if I could, unless I was off the side each time. That seems unlikely. I never played a parry game, huh? Blue is parry. Red is dodge. Well, I mean, I'm talking about the sound cue too, but... Gotta talk, gotta check. I mean, I suppose that's why my performance when I'm not streaming is better. Or a recording video. Huh. Stop yapping, streamer. Nine thousand subs. Lock in, clock in, and beat some but
Oh man, the eyeballs just keep getting bigger. It's annoying to deal with. Um, maybe I could get a... No, no rosary. Who's... Where is that sanctuary? There it is. Took a while. Oh, shit, opinion, the most useless one for no moving. I have no idea what I'm doing for six. Also, I remembered... I could just... do four characters at a time for Yomalis. I don't need it. Do it for every one? Like I thought I did? There was no reason for me to think that other than the fact that I was... My first idea. When I started this was I was doing one character per one video. For one stage. Hmm. Ah. I don't even know what I'm gonna do after them the end in the world. Break the world, destroy it all. Eat, 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 consume it. Oh, hey, right, get the spells, whatever this one is. I could have looked at the name, but I bother. I think it's stream. It's string, stream, and then strike. I'll stuck it. Alrighty, she's in the Mechanicus facility. And is about to run into the Ripper section. That's good for a one-time thing, but not good on replays, which is something you really have to consider. Is this going to be fun on a replay? But you know what? The chicken side quest. Double academy badge, yay. Triple academy badge. Uh, I'll just get the third academy badge much later. Cause I got... That means I can actually get four academy badge characters, huh? Wait, no, I should just get Boogaloo here. Chew. Oh. Uh, huh. Well, she's talking about StarCraft 2 units now. But... Yeah. Oh, she's talking about brood lords. They shoot uh, broodlings out, then act as a little. E they do damage. Mutilus attacks bounce. Yeah, she's definitely talking about the brood lord. It fires out two broodlings, which do damage, then it spawns the broodlings down low, which then continue to attack. It was part of why Zerg was so absolutely awful to play against in StarCraft 2. Well, and then you had the Swarm Lord, which is the same thing, on the ground. Well, they just spawned it. They didn't do damage with the attack. And the Mutalist just had a bouncy attack. Scourge exploded. Guardians just a lot of long-range siege attack. Ooh, big maintenance for a big lady. Yay, hollow heart. Uh oh, never good when she goes to a black screen. And that's just gonna be chatting for like half an hour. Yeah. Wait, purple. Hmm, maybe. Uh, miss. She has three VODs of Space Marine Out 2. So maybe the third one is her playing through the campaign in co op. Maybe the operations. I mean, I guess unlikely, but. Yeah. 
She's doing it solo because she wants to take her time with things, which is fine. I sort of have a really weird impatient situation. And I look for pointless nitty gritty things. You can see it all the time in my operations. I go searching for stuff all the time and I'm never the first guy around anywhere. But it's not to take in the scenery, it's just to look at random nonsense. Burn! Burn the fiber blaster. And she forgot it. That's not good. And Ripper Swarms. They're a unit in Dawn of War 2 Retribution, but they're only spawned in by Carnifexes. And are mostly just there to tie up squads due to the way how Dawn of War 2 works. You can't just fire your gun if you're in melee. You're in melee if something's meleeing you. So, you want to get rid of that really awkwardly placed guardsman squad? Just send in your melee unit on a flank and chew them up. Uh, the guardsman does like two damage a hit. All well, your basic war melee squad will do like 15 a model. Oh no. Do like 20 to 30 a model. Some of them are like ridiculous. Well, I don't know the exact number, especially because the elite mod is. The primary thing now, and that's got completely different numbers than the wiki would have. It actually, it's kind of funny that the Guardsman Squad, the exemplar of pathetic melee unit, under very specific circumstances, you can buff it to the fact it can be dedicated melee squads. Not like the super tough ones, but some of the more midi ones, like Assault Marines. Because Commissar Lord can execute a model. Uh, in Dawn of War, your squads are... Well, your units are full squads for infantry. Mostly. So the more health you have, the more models you have, but... Yeah. Your regular guards and model does two damage a hit, but it gets buffed by a common star. Oh man, I just lay out this picture better. A fully upgraded guardsman squad has ten models. Or 12 models. 10 of them are guards and models with 2 damage a hit. One's a sergeant with 4 damage a melee hit. And another is a commissar with like 20 because commissars are absurd. So if your commissar lord uh, does an execute maneuver which buffs the squad's damage by 100%. Uh, now suddenly all your guardsmen are doing 4 times 9. So that's 36 plus 8 from... The sergeant for 44, and 40 from the commissar itself, so now it's doing 82. Which is more damage than most of the melee squads like assault marines. You're really not going to want to do this, because guardsmen models are still incredibly weak, and we'll just lose. Uh, but hey, it's an option. You can do this on Olgrens or Atachan Devils. And it's over. Yay, it's over. Death comes for us all. Death comes for us all. Another day down. Another Beswick down. 20 more. It brings us up to 1,189 total. And leaves it 766 to go. Oh boy, that's... How many days? How many days? If I just continue this current pace? I don't know. 38? Yeah, 38 more days if I continue at this current pace. Time is a fun thing. Anyway, the next character is Sammy of all things. Heard that, but okay. Next to Genevieve too, huh? Funky. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Please like, dislike, comment, or subscribe if you haven't, and thanks if you have. Either way, I hope everyone has a good day and you keep mezzing around in Vampire Survivors Beswick.